Thank you for calling the U.S. Department of Labor National Contact Center to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Please hold for the next available customer service representative. This call will be recorded. Thanks for calling United States Department of Labor National Contact Center. My name is in order to better assist you, may I have your zip code, please? Thank you. And are you calling as an employer or currently employed? Currently employed. Thank you. And how can I help you today? Well, I have a question because I work at Amazon. And what happened is I basically had a bunch of trouble breathing through the, the face mask that I was provided. And I just, I sweat excessively. I, I don't have any diagnosed medical conditions or anything, but I was literally inhaling the mask into my mouth and everything. And as I understand, I saw some stuff online that said that it's actually against OSHA to have a oxygen level concentration below 19.5%. Am I correct? So you have questions regarding face mask in the workplace? Yes. Basically, I just want to know if, like, I can be forced to wear it or if they're able to, like, because they're demanding medical documentation and, but I, I don't have any, like, I don't have, like, asthma or any, you know, breathing difficulties or anything. It's just my problem is with the mask. Okay, so inquiries about eye and face protection should be directed to your local OSHA office. You'd have to contact them directly at the Monrova California OSHA office. I have their phone number if you would like to write it down and I can also transfer you. Okay, sweet. Thanks. You're welcome and I do thank you for calling United States Department of Labor. Have a wonderful day. Just one moment, please. Hi, um, I have a question. I'm, I'm an employee of Amazon. I just had a question about the face masks. Okay, hold on. Carlos, Yeah, hi. Uh, I, I just had a question. Uh, I'm an employee at Amazon, and I wanted to know if I can be forced to wear the mask, even though I have difficulty breathing, and yeah, that's basically just it for right now. Well, um, the general concept is yes, uh, that an employer, the employer can say this is a condition of employment. However, there is uh, the governor... The governor is the one who issued the order, and the governor's order actually does say in it, it has a, a number of uh, caveats, like children shouldn't wear it and uh, that kind of thing. I, and I think it also says, let's see if I can see what it says here. This was last Thursday's order. So it says anyone with respiratory issues where it would impede their breathing. That's, that's the exact language of the order. Anyone with respiratory issues where it would impede their breathing. You would have to... I mean, it can't be... I just don't like it. Uh, well, because, like, it for me, it goes beyond simply not liking it. Like, I because I sweat excessively and I breathe very hard just because of the nature of the job is just very physically demanding and we have to move very quickly. And I, I, I just sweat profusely and I drench, completely saturate the mask in sweat to the point that it's literally dripping onto the concrete floors. And I also, because I'm breathing so hard from moving so quickly, the actual mask is getting inhaled into my mouth and physically suffocating me. <laughs> okay, is, is it another, well. Yeah, and I was actually sent home. Uh... I, I'm on leave, actually, from the company, and I have a deadline uh, until the 29th to provide valid medical documentation stating whatever condition prevents me from wearing a mask. But I don't have any medical conditions. I just, I'm suffocating at, on the job. Is there a way that you can, well, I, I mean, the quick answer to your question is, I mean, it's Amazon. They have boatloads of uh, human resources people. I mean, they're not going to—they're not going to do something for the most part that they know they're not going to get away with. So, yeah, they—they they can probably get away with this. You know, the question would be, and they're asking the right, qu 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 right? They're saying, well, we can only let him not wear the mask if he—if he can show this sort of valid thing that would then comply with the governor's order. Something that comes to my mind is is maybe uh, some of these some of these masks are not 
necessarily cotton. There's some other material that might not get wet. It's, it's not going to absorb water as much or some some way of dealing with a face covering that looks like a face covering but makes you, like, for example, the face covering doesn't say that, I mean, it can be, we've seen these things like a bandana wrapped around your nose. Not wrapped around, but I mean. Yeah, I mean, well, that, I have been recommended that more times than I can even keep yeah. track of anymore, but okay. <laughs> it's just, it's very difficult for me to quite frankly just have anything on my face, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I did find some information online that states that according to you guys, according to OSHA, an oxygen level below 19.5% is considered a, a, an immediate danger to human life, pretty much, and I saw a test that somebody stuck an oxygen meter under a, a cloth mask, like you were just describing, and it started beeping immediately. It hit below that threshold. Is that correct? And do I have any sort of, you know, point with that? Any sort of case? No, I'm not gonna buy that one. Really? Um. Yeah. No, it's not gonna go anywhere. I mean, the. the, the I guess the problem. I mean, I've heard that. To me, the root of the problem is that Amazon has enough people that want that job for whatever reason that each individual employee is disposable right they're not they're not saying they're not they're not really working with you and saying oh what if we did this or what if we did that they just you just since you're just a number that we can find somebody to replace this person in any second so we just give them this choice you either you either wear the mask or you come up with a doctor's note uh, oh and by the way we can't we don't the order from the governor it doesn't have to be the certain material that the, the kind of mass that we see everybody walking around with. It can. There's other alternatives that might be able to be a little less burdensome on you. But Amazon personnel is saying we're going to make you do this, and they and, and they and they're going to get away with it. You know, they're mm -hmm. going to make you choose either A or B. Right? So, That's what they're saying. So, uh, as far as oxygen concentration level, that that just doesn't apply to this. Well, because we're we're Kalos is going to say, well, look, we you know the the governor wants. First thing Kalos is going to say is, well, actually, it wasn't our the mask wasn't necessarily our idea, but uh, we're going to say that, that there was a bunch of alternatives to it. We don't see why you can't why somebody you know somehow some way you can come up with some you guys can work this out where you can. Well, I, actually, it is worthwhile to say that. The, the public health people, unlike us, public health people are saying that they want employees to flow, they want employees to push their air, they want air to be filtered. Okay, there's something that I like about, and, and I, the, the Los Angeles County website, publichealth.lacounty.gov, has a, a poster. It says, okay, it's, it's like a please wear your mask poster, and it shows you these different versions, and it, even, it goes along with the bandana tied over bandana like Jesse James and, and it hanging down because they're saying okay if we can if we can make it so that the air that you exhale has to somehow get through the material in order to get to the outside world we want the material to catch the vapor droplets that potentially could have virus in it yeah we'll see I, it makes me think yeah, yeah okay for one I did try to because it did seem like they were initially willing to make an accommodation for me somehow and I suggested yeah. working in the equipment cage and I also suggested jam clearing just based on advice from a, a co-worker of mine who told me that it was really easy and he hardly breaks a sweat just standing around most of the time so I made both of those suggestions and pretty much their next response was we're just going to put you on leave and provide medical documents by the state. Yeah I can see them doing that and, and of course getting away with it but there's one other thing that comes to mind that was heard that teachers have been thinking about doing. They took, let's say you went to Home Depot and you bought a, a normal plastic face shield. Now, it's something that it's got a, well, it fits over your head. It's got kind of a headband, not more than a headband, but, it, but almost like the same kind of thing that used to be in the old plastic <clears throat> baseball cap. And um, so it suspends it, and then and then the, the plastic shield comes over your face. It comes down low, you know, down an inch or two below your chin. And then they would put kind of a shroud of material, let's say bandana material, down around your neck. The idea being that any anything that you exhaled would have to get through the the t-shirt or the material to get to the to get outside. And teachers were 
using this because sometimes the the kids dealing with kindergartners and the kindergartners weren't really responding well to the mask. Yeah. And they, they, the kids needed to see the the teacher's face. So this this was a this was something that teachers had been had been working with. I could see that working in a classroom setting where you're just sitting. All right you know, taking in a lecture or whatever, but with the amount of sweat, because I sweat by the bucket load, literally, and okay. <laughs> that would just be a foggy, soggy mess. Okay, I can I can see that. Yeah, th- th- there's just no real easy solutions to this, and, and the main reason I called is because, as I understood, you know, I was just trying to see if I had any kind of, you know, recourse to this, you know, or to force Amazon to not, you know, impose this on me. But I guess not. I guess I'm just pretty much out of a job I so. if I can't breathe through the mask. I think so. Wow. I think they. I think you know they've got the HR firepower. To I mean they know what they're doing. They 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 think they can. A lot of times, it, it, a lot of times, they, if 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 somebody took it to the nth degree and the equal employment opportunity people got involved because of a act for Americans with disability uh, complaint because they didn't give you reasonable accommodation. They say that they gave you reasonable accommodation. You dispute it. Let's say you win. Okay, I mean, yeah, that, year that's what I was that. starting to talk about. Yeah, because I did see something about that mentioned somewhere on the website about that they have to provide reasonable accommodation and it didn't seem like they did that. Well, they could say well, you know, the, 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 it's not just this type of mask. There's all these other types of masks. I mean, from their from their perspective, they're just they're, they're going to say it's they do the cost benefit analysis and and the and the calculate the risk of you going to all the trouble to try to get your job back by having the government get your job back. And they say this guy's not going to do that. We're just going to get rid of him, and he's going to be gone. He's going to go get another job making sandwiches at Subway or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that goes, well, I mean, that's going to go through their head, and they. They think they're going to win, you know. I mean, and it would, and you'd have to go through all of that to to, to, to win. Uh, well, ha, ha, how much work is that? Because I, I'm actually, I, I'm, actually, I'm, I really do feel upset enough to actually try to go through a long process to fight them and win because they just upset me that much. <laughs> well, I just don't know if I mean you really would it was like like this this thing where. There's going to have to be all of these other options or some sort of something around your nose and mouth somehow that you're exhaling isn't, um, isn't is, you know, virus, virus-laden droplets aren't getting outside of your space. Uh, I mean, you would have to have some inspector, investigator with the Division of Labor Standards Enforcement, the Labor Commissioner would have to say, would have to look at all of the alternative, that imp- We'd have to look at all the alternatives and say, no, none of those alternatives was a reasonable accommodation, and I rule, decide that Amazon treated him unfairly. I mean, that's that's going to be pretty hard considering how all these different options that, that the public health people have given for this for the space map. You know, wow. I, I mean, there might even be other options like um, these N95s. I mean, you're not supposed to be wearing N95s, but if you get your hands on them, I mean, there's... Or other ways to to sort of like prop the the thing about the N95 is the way that it's it's molded, it puffs out, you know, it, it sticks out around your nose, you yeah, know, it doesn't well, collapse in. The the, N, the the N95 is considered a respirator, though, isn't it? Well, oh, but we would because they don't is, allow those. But we don't, no, they decided, and they have the ability to make that decision, and and the the decision was more was more about and this was this is a reasonable thing on their part like the, all the public health officials are saying we don't the reason we don't want you to wear n95 is because we want to save those for healthcare people we don't you know every time you buy one from amazon that means there's one less available to them from amazon so that that if that was the main reason why they they, they didn't like these n95s but back to i still think it's going to be hard for you to hope that some labor commissioner investigator who doesn't really understand how much you sweat and all this other sort of stuff to be able to look and say, oh, you know, none of these alternatives that he was offered was a reasonable accommodation, therefore we're going to get him his job back. Huh. That, that's, what, that's what would have to happen next year, because it would take, I, mean, I believe there's a zillion complaints that are going to the labor commissioner, because your story is not unique, right? There's, there's this kind of problem is going on all over the place, and 
people are in a lot of problems with this and yeah you know, a lot of this I've had several coworkers complain to me, making the same complaints that they couldn't breathe. And actually, two more coworkers yeah. were sent home after me for the same reason. Sure. No, it's bad. At the same time, they won't. They don't. They don't say, "Why don't you stop hustling? Why don't you slow down?" Or something. Well, at Amazon, that th there's only basically one speed, and that's blazing fast. <laughs> you know, that's what I've heard. working slow isn't yeah. really an option. So. You're basically forced to work to the point of dripping sweat on the concrete floor and breathing very hard through your mouth, gasping for air, and then inhaling a mouthful of mask. <laughs> a mouthful but they get rid of it quick. They will, right? They'll say, no, I mean, they have this, these, all these performance measurements, and if you don't measure up, they, they just dump you. Right? That's what I've heard. Yeah. And that, that, that's the thing that's really frustrating for me, too, because prior to all this, you know, problems, all these problems with the masks, I was doing great. And I was being cross-trained in different departments, and, that, like, sure. managers were happy with me. And then this mask stuff happened, and it's all ruined. Well, I still think, as mad as, as easy it is to get angry at Amazon, especially because they're so it's so big and they have these HR people that they can, they sort of know what they're doing. They're hard to, they're hard to intimidate. They're hard to trip up. Um, I would say, you know, look into these options in this poster. I and mean, if you can get away with some kind of bandana around, tied around your nose, that something you can live with and something that keeps them off your back. I mean, it may, it may be as good as it gets. Yeah. I just don't see that happening. <laughs> Either I, I like basically either I have some kind of recourse through OSHA or I'm just out of luck. I'm just unemployed and I'm just gonna fall behind on my bills again, go back into debt pretty much. That's my situation. Well, the hard thing is okay. It's hard for us as OSHA to do something about the the face covering because it's not our rule. The the N95 okay, that's our rule, and Amazon took care of that by saying, well, we're just not gonna let you have it. But Cal OSHA is, isn't really gonna be able to get in the middle of this. Because it isn't our rule, this this is, ends up being the division of the uh, labor commissioner having to say that they did an inadequate job of offering you reasonable accommodation because you're, you're disabled. You're disabled because you sweat so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have to be something like that. I mean, this is, you know. Now that was actually another thing I was wondering. Now I, I know you're not a doctor, and I know you're not Amazon's HR, but I'm just curious if if, if maybe like uh, because I heard someone tell me that I might possibly have hyperhidrosis, which basically just means you sweat a lot, and I'm, I wonder if that would be a valid disability or something. It might, but that but then it could. I mean, they're gonna uh, some. Okay, I mentioned this face shield and the. Uh, shrouding material around the bottom of it as as an example of the kind of thing that would be deemed reasonable accommodation like I, I can understand what you're saying like it would be a foggy mess but, but yeah. something along those lines that could work uh, I, I mean I, it is I think somebody would look at the, the Los Angeles County and the public health people's drawing of what's allowed. I mean, we, what we've seen is this homemade imitation of a medical surgical mask. It's this thing that people have been making out of out of old t-shirts in their drawer uh, that loops around their ears. But we've seen these drawings from public health officials where they're saying, well, that isn't the only thing. You could do this and you can do that. So there were, like, there were two or three different options and I, it's going to be hard when the public health people weren't saying, oh no, you know, we weren't forcing you to use this thing around your ears that looks like the normal surgical mask, or you could put this bandana, tie it around the top of your nose, and look how it falls, drapes down your chest, and you have all that, all those cubic inches there for you to be able to breathe in and out of. It's going to be hard to refute that argument, to say that that was not reasonable accommodation. Even though it might not, be, you know, considering how much you sweat. I mean, I'm just saying it there. Yeah, and then I was going to say, even if it weren't for the sweat, just for the fact that, you know, of how hard I breathe, I could just see that fabric, you know, that draped fabric material just being inhaled right into my mouth, and I'll just be coughing on it and gagging on it and all that fun stuff. 
I think you're right. I think that Amazon is one of the, is one of the only places. I mean, even these um, UPS drivers are at least they sort of. See that, well, um, it's going to get bad. It's going to get bad for the UPS drivers when it really starts getting hot because the trucks are hotter than the outside. But oh yeah, but it, it, a lot of them are going to have the same kind of the same kind of problem. I mean, there just aren't that many jobs in the economy that have people running and sweating as hard as these Amazon go getters. And uh, so it's it, it, it's you're, you're you're right. It's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh. But I don't. But it's still a a, a big game, or a, a really hard to try to think that a year from now, when some investigator from the labor commissioner finally clears his backlog, hands or her backlog enough to get to your case and adjudicates in your favor, and that that's a that's a tall ask there. Hmm. Well, Against sounds Amazon. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I hope you know. I I I, I hope you I. I, I, you know, I would, I would hope that you would kind of. Um, I mean, they've they've seen you, they've seen you hustle before. I mean, I wonder if you would just dial down on the production, and maybe they would say, well, you know, he's going as quickly as this mask thing sort of permits, so let's not fire him. I mean, that that might be your best bet. <laughs> yeah, I've thought about something like that actually, but I would have to w- yeah. work at the pace of a turtle. To, to not because, oh, because yeah. sometimes it just gets warm in okay. there too and I just even just no, sure. stand no, yeah. still I'll start sweating a little bit there. Over there. what part of town is that is is warehouse in? it's in I mean the point the point is it's hot right? I mean, yeah it, yeah I mean, you're not, you're, I mean you're not talking you're not talking about the LAX warehouse you're talking about the, we know that it's, that it's it's awful today and it will be awful for the next six I mean it's just awful most of the time so yeah yeah wow you know, because I uh, back on the N95 subject real quick, you know, I actually heard that somebody was driving their car, they had an N95 on, and they apparently passed out behind the wheel, and the police were saying that it could have been oxygen deprivation was the likely uh, cause of that, that caused them to just knock out. I think that, I think that they, that, that, um, that there's something to that, and the reason is because, uh, you know, a lot of us have been, you know, I think I wore one, the same one every day. I mean, they were they were supposed they were supposed to be something that you wore one before lunch and one after lunch. Uh, instead of people wearing them for a month at a time, uh, and when they get soggy, it it's harder to push the you know the air doesn't go back and forth through it as as well. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that, so, that that's the main so problem I have with, with mine yeah. too. <laughs> right, right. That makes that makes sense. Right. Yeah. Sure. And then I, I just pulled up a couple articles online. Uh, uh, apparently, uh, some uh, like Chinese boys, like 14-year-old boys, they were in PE in like different schools, but in China, like in the same area somewhere, and they were that, that they were being pushed to run with a mask on, and they collapsed and just died on the spot. Literally, just died. I, I think I think this is this is uh, conceivable. Yeah, I think I think we're we're all going to have to start. All these people that are managing people are haven't haven't really thought this out yet. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's just that that's exactly what. And, I, and right. I bet, and there's going to be well, there's lots of there's lots of in people. What they're going to do, I think they're going to put some kind of piece of plastic, some straw, you know, some expansion, almost like the. Uh, that bridge, the Gen 95 had this metal, this, this, it was just a piece of metal, a flat piece of metal that would, that you would bend, or, you know, some, something rigid like that to try to push the material off your face. Oh, so it okay, yeah, I see what you're hand. saying. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. You know, something, yeah, that they're gonna, that's gonna be the next thing that they're gonna, that somebody is going to come up with, that it's got some, the face covering has some sort of frame, internal frame to it. Yeah, that I mean, it wouldn't be perfect, but I, I think that would help. Yeah, I, I would. You, hey, you might find something like that if you look around, because I, I especially as we start to come into summer. It's, I mean, it, it's, it's officially summer already. That this this is going to be a thing. This, oh, you know, definitely, it's, it's yeah. Obvious, but... Yeah, the the internet, especially like Reddit and sites like that, they're they're just riddled with posts of people having difficulties breathing with these masks on of, of various sure. types, not just sure. the paper ones, but bandanas. Sure cloth, t-shirts, sure. anything. As we get in, the, you know, when you have 
summertime in places like Chicago and Atlanta where the humidity is 90 degrees and 90% humidity and yeah, yeah there's smart people out there that are, that are going to start to come up with a little frame somehow and, and sew this frame into into the space covering it's just a matter of time yeah, some, some, something's got to happen. There's just there's a yeah. lot of complaints over these things, so that's sure. why a lot of people refuse to wear them. And you see, like you know, on the news, people actually break out into actual physical fistfights over it. Yeah, no, I, I I can understand. That, but so so, all the more reason that some smart there's a lot of smart people sitting around with idle hands, and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna whip these things up, and it's gonna be a big help to people like you and everybody else. So it's coming, you know. But. At the same time, a company like Amazon, in the short, in the short term, they're going to get away with it, especially if they're when they've got such a turnover of employees and they just don't care about trying to keep any one of them. Oh, that's pretty sad. Well, yeah, it's bad. right, right. It shows it's, it shows how weak the labor market is. Is that 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 such an, a job everybody knows is awful? Everybody knows it's awful, but but people still take it. So pretty much me and everyone else in my position are basically just shit out of luck <laughs> for the most part, unless we're able to find some way to cope with a different sort of mask or something. Otherwise, we're just SOL. I think you're right. I think that's the way to put it. Unless you find a way to cope with a different sort of mask, Amazon's going to win. They're, you know, from their point of view, it's just they just fill out some forms. They give you, they just, you're right, they just say, hey, you know, we're going to put you on leave. You come back with some paperwork. Okay, fine. If not, we got dozens of people waiting to replace you to go run around in this hot warehouse. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Well, I guess I guess that's all I can do then. Okay, well, uh, you, good luck to you. I hope it worked out. Yeah, thanks. It was, it was a very interesting conversation, though, no doubt. So basically the moral of the story is that Amazon can do whatever the hell they want, and they can get away with it, and there's nothing that OSHA can do. You know, you would think that with people literally dropping dead because of these things, that Amazon might give me some kind of leeway or something when I tell them that I can't breathe. But handing medical documents when I don't even have a medical condition, my condition is that I need to breathe. So instead of letting me just not wear the mask and just breathe air, this is what they do instead. Hi, Brian. This is from the leave of absence department in Amazon. The reason of my call is to follow up on your medical leave request. I see that you were referred to a leave of absence by the accommodations department since they did not receive medical documentation within the COF due date. I went ahead and reviewed the information and I see that you don't qualify for the family medical leave. However, you're being considered for a leave as an accommodation, which is an unpaid leave. Uh, I will be sending you an email uh, with some forms that your doctor can use in order to excuse your absences from work. We need to get complete documentation by June 29th. If you have any doubts or questions, please feel free to contact us back. Thank you and I hope you have a good day. Please feel free to contact us back. Thank you and I hope you have a good day. <laughs> have a good day. Yeah, just just have a good day. I mean, it's not like anyone's dying or anything in these masks. You think these two Chinese boys were having a good day when they died within a week of each other while wearing a face mask in gym class? How about this? In case you didn't have enough mask-induced death, joggers' lungs collapsed after running with face masks. Here's why you should avoid working out with masks. Never work out wearing a face mask, even if you are doing it for your own safety. While exercising, we breathe more air, and for that our lungs have to work harder. Masks restrict the flow of air into our lungs, which make you feel breathless and tired. Masks also become wet due to sweat when you wear it for a long time. Should you be jogging or running with a mask on? Any cardiovascular activity increases one's breathing, which results in the person panting and then even breathing from the mouth. With the mask covering one's mouth, the flow of air through the nose is constricted and even the breathing from the mouth is difficult, which might result in trouble for some. A mask, which is not valved, changes the blood gas equation and it leads to a special phenomena called PEEP, positive end expiratory pressure. This PEEP may lead to pneumothorax, punctured lungs, especially when there's too much strain on lungs like when we are running or doing strenuous exercise. Jogging or running fast is an activity in which more oxygen is needed to meet the extra demand of energy of the body. And wearing a mask while running is not advisable as a person may find it difficult to catch required oxygen and may faint. Anyway, I rest my case. 
This is Network 126. Rate, comment, subscribe.